it's so beautiful. I'm actually in the desert. The sand is so warm. packing for the Morocco group trip. I leave in two days and I'm just now starting packing. So essentially I need eight day outfits. I need two days worth of travel outfits, possibly just a few nighttime outfits. shortly we are on our way driving to Detroit let me get my ways instead let's get started drive safely two hours 58 minutes all right so mom and I have a three hour drive to make it to Detroit we are turn right onto West Catalpa Drive like that so nasty and that's what happened so rude we are flying from Detroit to London London to Morocco. Get out the way. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm racing the clock. Even in my feelings, grind don't stop. Got big dreams, one big. We have finally checked in here at Detroit Airport. And I'm boards actually in about 23, 25 minutes. We decided to sit and eat at P.F. Chang's. Mojito. Waiting on our food. And I'm really ready to just get on this airplane. Get relaxed and comfortable. It's been a while since I've been on a long flight like this. Going out of the country again. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, last long trip I took was last year in Australia. Now here I am going to Morocco, so I feel good now. We had a little beef and broccoli beef with some fried rice. Some of this beef smells really good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'm going to make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait tight on our leg for it. Count down for me. Note, I didn't film here in Marrakesh because I did the last visit last year. I wanted to focus on the other areas of Morocco. So that's what we're going to get into this video. We're checking out of this cute little Riyadh here in Marrakesh. The room is an absolute mess right now, but I have this huge king size bed, windows that lets in a lot of light, the bathroom, the shower, the shower. Everybody on the trip has been raving about the shower. The water pressure and the temperatures. Ugh. So great. I have 20 minutes to finish packing, get downstairs to eat breakfast, and then hit the road. Driving for what seems like hour number one, four. We've stopped so we can take a picture of the Berber village. A lot of wind, but but I wanted to say that this is such a good group of of people. So how this trip is is it's 
pretty much a road trip. We were in Marrakesh for three days, and today we are driving along the coast. Tomorrow we'll make it to the Sahara Desert, but we're seeing more of the countryside here in Morocco instead of just staying only in Marrakesh. I'm glad we have a nice, comfortable, luxury, cool van to sit in because this heat is real. Have you ever wanted to visit Egypt? Well, here's your chance to cross it off your bucket list. I want to take a quick moment to introduce today's video sponsor, my travel agency, Lux Nomad Travels. International travel has been a part of my life since 2001, and I have longed to extend possibilities and opportunities for others to do the very same. Lux Nomad Travels is a travel agency that provides purpose-driven luxury experiences that connects the like-minded soul. We provide adventurers with a safe space to learn together, grow together, and connect. I'm so excited about this one. We have just launched the luxury Egyptian encounter journey together next April. This luxury nine day multi-city encounter presents you with luxury, ancestry, harmony, hospitality, which is the foundation of the Egyptian society, all while concentrating on the history and heritage of our Nubian ancestors that you only read about in the history books. <sighs> I'm so excited for this one. You don't want to miss it. So if you want to kickstart your travel journey or just want to meet new like-minded friends, then click on the link in the description box below, check out the full trip details, and reserve your spot today. And get this, monthly and bi-weekly payment plans are available at your convenience. I can't wait to see you in Egypt. After six hours of driving, stopping, eating, sleeping, we finally made it to our second accommodations. We're pretty much in the Atlas Mountains. The views are absolutely amazing. I didn't quite catch them as we were driving because I was asleep. I'm going to hop in the shower, rinse off, put on my bathing suit and a cover up because I might get in the pool after dinner. I have 25 minutes to get ready for dinner actually. But I can appreciate where this Riyadh is. How do you feel about your room? Wonderful. I feel like I'm in here. It's nice and cool. All right, showered. Been to on, feel refreshed. Now I can go down and have some dinner and um, possibly get by the pool. I don't want it like this. I don't want it like this. This is the rhythm of the night. Oh. As you can see, I'm a little stuffy. My ankle is completely swollen. I look like 600 pound life. Y'all see the difference? This is the regular foot. This is the 600 pound life foot. Wow, look at my ankle. We're so high up in altitude. I, I really don't even have anything to say, but I'm late for dinner. Let's go. This, this. 
<laughs> yes. Thank you. I'm now being walked to my tent with my luggage. Okay, this is hot. The luggage is far too heavy. But I'm excited. Excited. Oh, wow, it's going to be so beautiful tonight. The stargazing. Ah, so beautiful. I'm actually in the desert. The sand is so warm. All right. Ah, oh, it's so cute. This bed looks like everything. It's super, super duper hot. Like, the degrees is 100 degrees right now. 100 degrees. And the AC, unfortunately, doesn't work until the nighttime, which doesn't really make any sense to me. I found this on the web. I didn't ask you. Nothing. Okay, before I get this room too dirty, let's do a quick room tour. And it'll be really quick because it's a small... It's a tent. Immediately upon walking in, you are greeted by the king-size bed that I cannot wait to get in tonight. That's after watching the stars. And then you have the seating area to the left, and then to the right of the tent, you have your bathroom. Separate toilet and shower, and then your vanity area. These lamps and light fixtures are super cute. Nice touch here. Every detail of this tent is Moroccan. The rugs, the detail in the mirror, the bed linen, Moroccan. As you can see, I'm sweating like crazy. Let's go over to the pool and cool off. It's literally 100 degrees. Yeah. It's literally 100 degrees outside, y'all. I need to go cool off. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's 100 degrees? Yes. How do you know? Because my watch told me. Oh, shoot. Drink some water. We need to drink water. <laughs> I'm trying to get in, but it's freezing. Is she trying to, she's trying to convince me? <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> she being dramatic. <laughs> Miss Dramatic. Okay. All right. I'm going to go in. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right. After a good cold dip in the pool. We're catching the sunset. Some people are about to do the sand dunings over there. Some people are laying out, getting dry. Is he chilling like always? I, I yes. <laughs> yes. Get her sleep like always. Don't blame it on the sun and shine. Don't blame it on my baby. All right, you did it! Now you gotta do is stand it up. It's quite, quite windy, so you're probably hearing a lot of wind right now. You ready to go? I'm like, yep. Time to go. Look at my group. We are in the middle of the Sahara. Like, it's so crazy. Like, you see nothing but sand. Sahara sand. It ain't nothing other sand. This is the Sahara sand. Yeah, <laughs> he's showing. 
We need to hear. Look, hi. Hi. So we have to walk up this hill for the sunrise. Wow, I can't do it. I'm not gonna say I can't. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm tired already. How you feel? <laughs> Way over there, they got little domes, yours. Wow, I wonder what that's like in the sunset, sunrise. I mean. Huh, I got that. I got the boat <laughs> right there. Hold tight. Oh, hold tight. Hold tight. Yeah. Got it. It's quite windy. shower I have about 45 minutes until breakfast I'm trying to do quickly pack my things so I can lay back down for those 45 minutes I am super tired super duper tired I know I'll probably sleep on the bus but I need some shut eye now yeah all right after breakfast we are now I feel like I know I put on deodorant but I feel like I just sweated it off oh, just see, that quick and I didn't put none on so I'm scared <laughs> We just had breakfast and now we're checking out of our luxury desert camp. Hello out there in TV land. I know you missed me. But I'm here. I'm back. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Brock. Thank you. Say bye. This is not my. Say bye to the camera. Bye. See you. See you. I hope to see you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is my friend Barack. Bye bye. Thank you. So now we catch our 4x4 back to the van, and then we have a long, very long drive to Fez. Bye-bye, Burak. Thank you for everything. Hey, all right. All right. We're back in the car. Woo! You say y'all want a fast ride? I'm going to give you one now. Yes! Don't forget to subscribe to join me every week. And remember, you can also join me on any upcoming international experience around the world. Just click on the link in the description box below and I hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching.